fun things to view. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nittany Draws. I'm Nittany, and today I'm coming at you with day um, nine? Nine, yes. Day nine of Inktober, and I'm doing a pretty good job of recording again. I've got my life back in order. Um, in the last video, I mentioned that I was planning on doing something else in that same color scheme of cyan and magenta, and I did. Um, I originally hadn't planned on using this piece for Inktober, but I really, really, really wanted to finish it. And so, okay, so this requires a little backstory. So I love playing video games. I play a lot of video games. And recently my hubby bought me Fable Anniversary for the Xbox 360. And I have spent an inordinate amount of time playing Fable Anniversary recently while I was sick. And while I was sick, I sat on my butt and I played Fable Anniversary and I got to this point where I had to fight the Screamers in the DLC that is in it and the Screamers basically look like Banshees and they're a huge pain in the butt unless you've leveled up your character all the way. <coughs> Excuse me. And at that point, I had not leveled up my character all the way because I wanted to see the story and so I had just like powered through it and I got to this point where I was trying to fight the screamers and it wasn't working out and I kept dying and so I went over to my sketchbook for a minute to cool down and I ended up drawing this which is kind of about the screamers from Fable and I'm really happy with how she turned out. The, the liner itself was really, 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 really fun to do. And then I was like, oh my god, this would look really, really cool with the same sort of thing that I was doing with the Inktober stuff, with the black background, and then with like a color wash, and then what color do I do? Of course I do my favorite color, which is cyan and magenta, and I don't know. I'm just really happy with it. Um, I, I think this is the first drawing on my channel where I've used like a really intense facial expression. I think up to this point I've only used like portraiture. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. I love how it turned out. I think it's like, it's, it's fun. It's not like, like overly thought out or anything. And the hair was really fun to play with. And I don't know. It was just a really, really fun thing to do. And so I am painting it with the... So first I do a blue wash. Um, because when I first started painting, I thought maybe I would just paint it like a like an actual regular illustration. Um, and then... So I got like all the way through the blue wash on the hair. And then I was like, wait a minute. I should do it with the, the dripping techniques and stuff. And then... I started playing around with dripping techniques and I knew that I wanted to keep her skin white somehow, but I wanted to have some kind of pop of color. So you'll see what I do in a minute. It looks really, really cool. I, I love it. I'm really happy. Um, so I use blue layered on top of blue, layered on top of blue, and then I started adding drips into it and I start adding a lot of drips. So basically I end up layering drips. That's how this, this whole thing comes about. I could have, I don't know. I'm like, I'm watching, I love watching this as it happens now because I can look back and be like, ooh, I could have stopped at that point too. That would have been a cool place to be. But at the same time, I really wanted to get that magenta e color into it. And I did. I actually have a cosplay wig that's really similar to these colors. So that's where I get that drip. Okay, so this drip is going to stay for a while. I love this drip. I'm really happy with it. I know it's weird to have a random drip in the middle of the forehead, but that's art and art is weird. The 
colors look so much more vivid right now than they do once they're dry and it makes me sad. I wish that I could keep them wet forever so they would be super, super bright. This is me testing out a blend that I wasn't sure if I wanted to use or not. So then I walk away for a minute and then I come back with that same from the, the crystal ball one that I did um, where I had that uh, pearlescent ink that I used. I start using that pearlescent ink here and I work it into the hair and then I let the entire piece dry for a little while. And then I come back and I started off maybe thinking about using the white pen, but like I said in my last video, I never am very confident in my usage of the white pen. I feel like a lot of other people do it much better than I do, and I'm not really sure where to go with it. So instead of using that, I decided to go in with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen and accentuate some of the lines to make them darker and then keep some of the other ones covered with the watercolor so that they sort of fade into the background and that gives it a little bit more depth. About at this point I realized that my brush pen is out of ink and so I go away for a few minutes and I go fill up my ink cartridge again. I really need to dye my hair. I'm looking at it right there and I'm like, ooh, that's a that's a line. Right there. See? Look at that dead pen. It was time. That's that marks my very first cartridge that I have completed with this Pentel Pocket brush pen. It went a little longer than I kind of had expected it to. I've done a lot of stuff with it at this point. <laughs> It was about at this point, when I start adding the white details with the pen, that I realized that this is the first landscape picture I did for Inktober. And now I'm kind of wondering if it will work with all of the other ones. Like how am I going to put it into this book that I've been planning since the beginning? Um, I don't know. I'll work it out. I've, I've got a brain. I can. I can figure this out. I am not very good with any kind of editing program though, so maybe I'll call in the troops. <laughs> mm -hmm. My little signature there at the bottom. And this is where I come back in with that pearlescent and I start like flicking it and I get like dots all over the place and then I add some extra dots in because I wanted more of them. And the pearlescent pen, or not pen, ink, it dries sort of 3D-ish, and it looks like little pearls all over the place. Here she is, all finished and ready to rock. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping in. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you'd like to see me draw next. Tell me what you think about this illustration or previous illustrations. And don't forget to stop on over at my Etsy store. Um, it's etsy.com slash shop slash knitneys. There's a link there. And make sure to type in the coupon code SPOOKY15 in order to get 25% off of your order. And I will see you in the very next video.